In our solar system, Venus and Earth orbit the Sun. If you put Venus and Earth side by side, you will notice they are planets with the same surface makeup and are about the same size. If their rocky surfaces are so similar, why doesn't Venus have an ocean like Earth's? Let's start at the formation of Venus, 4.6 billion years ago. Venus and the other rocky planets in our solar system were formed by the process of planetary accretion. Heavy metals first stuck together to form a hot core. When the core's mass was large enough, the core gravitationally attracted lighter elements to form the crust and mantle. So what happened next? One theory says the evolution of Earth and Venus depended on the planet's distance from the Sun. The intensity of radiation from the Sun hitting a planet's surface decreases as distance increases, meaning that a planet's surface temperature will be cooler when it is further from the Sun. After the formation of Venus and Earth, water vapor outgassed from both planet's surfaces into the atmosphere. On Earth, the water vapor condensed because the temperature was cool enough for water vapor to reach saturation vapor pressure. The water precipitated, forming the early oceans. Molecules of carbon dioxide and sulfur gases dissolved in the ocean, leaving nitrogen behind as the dominant gas in our atmosphere. At formation, Venus's distance from the Sun meant the planet received 1.4 times the solar radiation on its surface than Earth did. As a result, water vapor could never reach saturation vapor pressure. A runaway greenhouse effect was also in place, caused by the high temperatures and resulting positive feedback loop that evaporated any possible liquid water. Water vapor molecules could not condense, accumulating in the atmosphere where they were photolyzed, or broken down by photons from the sun, into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen molecules left the planet's atmosphere because they were too light to be affected by Venus's gravity. The remaining oxygen molecules became a part of chemical reactions that oxidized rocks on the surface. Venus today is the hottest planet in the entire solar system, and Earth is the only one with life, quite possibly because of their distances from the Sun. While this theory explains one reason why Venus lost its oceans, researchers are continuing to study whether Venus once had an ocean before it evaporated away, and whether such an ocean may have harbored life. <laughs>